Welcome back to Storybot. Subscribe now to join our community. Your support means the world to us. Ever wished you could unlock the secrets of financial success without investing hours in reading Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki? Your wish is granted. This video will demystify the key concepts and ideas from the book, empowering you to take charge of your financial future in just a few minutes. We'll be discussing some of the most important financial concepts from the book. The difference between assets and liabilities. One of the most important concepts in Rich Dad Poor Dad is the difference between assets and liabilities. An asset is something that puts money in your pocket, while a liability is something that takes money out of your pocket. For example, a house is often seen as an asset, but it can actually be a liability if you owe more on the mortgage than the house is worth. The importance of financial education. The school system doesn't teach people about money, so most people never learn how to manage their finances effectively. This is why the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. Rich Dad Poor Dad teaches the importance of financial education and how to take control of your finances. The power of compound interest. Compound interest is the magic of money. When you invest your money and earn interest, that interest is then reinvested and earns more interest. Over time, this can lead to significant growth in your wealth. Rich Dad Poor Dad teaches the power of compound interest and how to use it to your advantage. The importance of having a dream and working towards it. One of the most important things in life is to have a dream and work towards it. When you have a dream, it gives you something to strive for and it helps you stay motivated. Rich Dad Poor Dad teaches the importance of having a dream and working towards it. How to Concepts In addition to the theoretical concepts, Rich Dad Poor Dad also teaches some how to concepts. These concepts can help you take control of your finances and achieve financial success. Some of the how to concepts include How to create a budget and track your spending How to choose the right investments for you How to start your own business How to negotiate effectively How to protect your assets from creditors Here are some examples of how the concepts and principles from Rich Dad Poor Dad can be applied in real life. The difference between assets and liabilities can be applied to your own finances by taking stock of your assets and liabilities. Once you know what you have and what you owe, you can start to make decisions about how to improve your financial situation. The importance of financial education can be applied by taking a personal finance class or reading books about personal finance. You can also learn about personal finance by talking to a financial advisor or by attending financial workshops. The power of compound interest can be applied by investing your money in a long-term investment, such as a mutual fund or an index fund. Over time, your investment will grow and you will see the power of compound interest at work. The importance of having a dream can be applied by setting goals for yourself and working towards them. When you have a dream, it gives you something to strive for and it helps you stay motivated. Here are some of the how-to concepts from Rich Dad Poor Dad and examples of how they can be applied. How to create a budget and track your spending. One of the best ways to take control of your finances is to create a budget and track your spending. This will help you see where your money is going and make sure you're not overspending. There are many different ways to create a budget. You can use a spreadsheet, a budgeting app, or even just a piece of paper. The important thing is to find a method that works for you and stick to it. Here is an example of how to create a budget. First, list all of your income sources. This includes your salary, your side hustles, and any other sources of income. Next, list all of your expenses. This includes your housing costs, your transportation costs, your food costs, and any other expenses you have. Once you have your income and expenses listed, subtract your expenses from your income. This will give you your net income. Now, you need to decide how much you want to save each month. A good rule of thumb is to save 20% of your income. Once you know how much you want to save, you need to decide how much you want to spend on each category of expense. Finally, track your spending each month to make sure you're staying on budget. How to choose the right investments for you. There are many different types of investments available, so it's important to do your research and choose the ones that are right for your goals and risk tolerance. If you're not sure where to start, you can talk to a financial advisor. Here are some factors to consider when choosing investments. Your goals. What are your financial goals? Are you saving for retirement? Are you saving for a down payment on a house? Your risk tolerance. 
How much risk are you comfortable with? Some investments are riskier than others. Your time horizon. When do you need the money? If you need the money in the short term, you'll need to choose investments that are less risky. How to start your own business. Starting your own business is a great way to build wealth, but it's important to do your research and plan carefully before you get started. Here are some tips for starting your own business. Do your research. Before you start any business, it's important to do your research and understand the industry you're entering. This includes understanding the market, the competition, and the legal requirements. Create a business plan. A business plan is a roadmap for your business. It should include your goals, strategies, and financial projections. Get funding. You'll need money to start your business. There are many different ways to get funding, such as personal savings, loans, and grants. Build a team. You'll need a team of talented people to help you build your business. Make sure you hire the right people for the job. Market your business. Once you have a product or service, you need to get people to know about it. This means marketing your business through advertising, public relations, and social media. How to negotiate effectively. Negotiating is a skill that can help you get the best deals on everything from cars to houses. Here are some tips for negotiating effectively. Do your research. Before you negotiate, it's important to do your research and understand the value of the item you're negotiating for. This will give you a strong starting point for negotiations. Be prepared to walk away. If you're not happy with the terms of the negotiation, be prepared to walk away. This will show the other party that you're serious about getting a good deal. Be willing to compromise. In most cases, you're not going to get everything you want in a negotiation. Be willing to compromise and meet the other party halfway. Be confident. Confidence is key in any negotiation. If you believe in yourself and your position, the other party will be more likely to take you seriously. In conclusion, Rich Dad Poor Dad is a classic personal finance book that has helped millions of people around the world. I hope you found this video informative and engaging. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more Storybot content.